In our summer series, American Wonders, we're exploring places that make America wonderful, from majestic natural landscapes to spectacular creations are everywhere. This morning, we're showing you a neighborhood in Detroit that just refuses to be forgotten. It fell victim to economic hardship and urban decay decades ago, and most residents just moved away. But one man, one guy, saw beauty in what was left behind. Now his artwork attracts hundreds of thousands of visitors every year. Adriana Diaz takes us on a stroll down Heidelberg Street. Good morning. Let me give you a little tour here. We have a pile of suitcases, an old classroom chair, a baseball mitt, and a mountain of shoes. What once was discarded trash has been repurposed and reimagined as art. It's all the life's work of a man who grew up on this block and turned a once abandoned Detroit neighborhood into a tourist destination. Come along, catch a half a lump. Sip with me on a muddy clump. We'll sing a song of days gone by. If a junkyard had a fever dream, it might look something like this. Don't be long for the end is now. Scattered in empty lots among the few remaining homes on this two-block stretch of Heidelberg Street are seemingly random objects that might make more sense inside those homes. Come, 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 come along now. But making sense seems to be the last thing on the mind of artist Tyree Guyton. People probably will come here and think it looks like a junkyard. Yes. Yeah. And that's okay with you? That's okay. Guyton grew up on this street with three generations of his family through the rise and fall and now renaissance of the city around it, Detroit. My grandfather, he was my best friend. I was nine years of age when he gave me a paintbrush and told me to paint and said that the world was my canvas. But that world imploded in 1967 when racial tensions and post-war urban decline sparked five days of deadly riots in their own backyard. Oh, I thought the world was coming to an end and that area was hit hard. So the riots and the aftermath mm -hmm. led to the emptying out right. of this neighborhood? Absolutely. And that's really driven you? Oh, yes. To bring people, bring the focus back? Someone had to do it. And so why not me? And I can see the ghosts of the people who used to live here. When those people moved out, they left behind the objects that once filled their lives. So I decided to gather those things up and to create this magic. So you're making a statement with yeah. the things that are left behind are still valuable. Absolutely. You make it valuable. Valuable because today, Guyton's so-called Heidelberg Project attracts an estimated 200,000 visitors a year from all over the world, adding more than $3 million annually to the local economy. I just like the oddity of it all. This is a great way to put this area on the map. It's bringing the neighborhood back to the neighborhood. It's really interesting. It also brought controversy to the neighborhood. Some residents complained about traffic and code violations, and the city even bulldozed parts of it twice. I don't mind getting in trouble first and apologizing later if necessary. The Heidelberg Project is now working with the city to address those concerns, a task that falls to its president, Janine Whitfield. And it's like any other family. You got sisters and brothers that don't get along, <laughs> but we never stop trying. A former banker, she made a wrong turn down Heidelberg Street 26 years ago and met Guyton sitting on the curb. Today, she's also his wife. Do you feel that your work has followed the rise and fall and rise of Detroit? I definitely do. I think it is the greatest symbol. And as the city of Detroit is kind of having this new life, so to speak, so is the Heidelberg Project. Ironically, that new life means dismantling some of the installations and moving them to galleries around the world. They have a proposal at City Hall to turn this once blighted neighborhood into a vibrant artist's village with live work studios, an arts academy, and businesses that cater to them. They've even trademarked their own school of art. We call it Heidelbergology. What is your definition of Heidelbergology? It is the study of found materials incorporated into the fabric and structure of an urban community and the effects on that community. You put Heidelberg, this neighborhood, on the map, and now you want to take it to the next level? That's why I can walk away. I've done it. 
As this neighborhood's profile has risen, so has Guyton's. He is now represented by an art gallery in New York, and other cities have asked him to create works of art to revitalize their neighborhoods. So it seems the philosophy of Heidelbergology is spreading. I'll say thank you, Adrian. It just shows you because at first it does look kind of junky, but it shows you the beauty of the ordinary when you look at the stories behind what we're looking at. Yeah.